Last month, John MacArthur hosted a conference titled Strange Fire. The conference, which was critical of all things continuationist, generated for us a pile of email questions from our listeners, as you can imagine, and most of them just wanted to know your general thoughts, Pastor John. But probably the most specific question we received most frequently was related to things said about you publicly at the conference. Allegedly, it was said that while you do have a category for prophecy in tongues today, and that you're personally open to them, this is an anomaly to your overall theology, and you don't seem exegetically convinced enough to advocate Others pursue prophecy and tongues for themselves. What are your thoughts when you hear something like this? Well, the last thing I want to do is in any way diminish or obstruct John MacArthur's incredibly fruitful expository ministry. I love John. I love that ministry. I have an app on my phone called Downcast, which is for gathering and managing your audio podcasts, and I listen to very few people, and John MacArthur is one of them, and that's because his attention to the text and his love of the Bible and his ability to apply it in forceful and and relevant ways is incredibly helpful to me, and I don't hesitate to tell people, go there and grow. So anything I say by way of disagreement is not in any sense a diminishment of that, and I continue to benefit from John's ministry to this very hour. Um, so what should I say then uh, in response to um, the thought, I, I suppose he expressed, I didn't even go check this out, So, but if you say so, <laughs> uh, that I, I don't seem to exegetically convinced enough uh, on the gift of prophecy, say, to advocate others pursue these gifts. Well, I think uh, what I should say is um, I, I advocate, I do advocate obedience to 1 Corinthians twelve thirty one, earnestly desire the higher gifts. And I advocate obedience to 1 Corinthians 14, 1, earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. And uh, 1 Corinthians fourteen thirty nine. I advocate obedience to verse 39, earnestly desire to prophesy and do not forbid speaking in tongues. I, I, I want Christians today to obey those, and I not only advocate obedience to um, earnestly desiring to prophesy and not forbidding speaking in tongues, but I, I try to obey those texts um, every time I preach. I pray for the gift of prophecy almost as often as I pray for anything before I stand up to speak. And here's what I mean. Uh, and we, we can talk about more about this later if you want to, but here, here's what I mean. Um, I mean, God, while I'm preaching, would you so anoint me with the gift to say things agreeable to the scriptures and, and subject to the scripture that are not in my manuscript necessarily or in my head as I walk into the pulpit, uh, uh, nor a thought of ahead of time, which would come to my mind, which would pierce in an extraordinary way some heart so that 1 Corinthians 14.25 happens where it says the secrets of the heart are disclosed. So falling on their face, they will worship God and declare that God is really among you. So that's what I pray for. And I know John doesn't think that's what the gift of prophecy is and, and other folks don't either, but that's my answer. Uh, I do have unanswered questions about these things. I won't go into all of them now. And my effort to prioritize what I preach on, uh, whether I preach on tongues or preach on prophecy or other spiritual gifts, I, my effort to prioritize may be imperfect, but my answer is that I try to live up to what I see in the text and advocate for it as I see it in relation to all the other things that I, that I preach on. Um, I do have reasons for understanding the gift of prophecy that way that I think are exegetically valid today, but maybe we can save that for another time. So, so my, my answer is, um, uh, John may think that I would preach on it and 
teach on it differently if I were really persuaded of it, but all I can say is I'm trying to make judgment calls about proportion of importance, and um, I'm trying to obey those texts. Yes, amen. Thank you, Pastor John. And next time we'll follow up and talk more about modern day prophecy. But until then, thank you for listening to this podcast. Email your questions to us at askpastorjohn at desiringgod.org. Visit us online at desiringgod.org to find thousands of books, articles, sermons, and other resources from John Piper, all free of charge. I'm your host, Tony Ranke. Thanks for listening.